Okay, hope you're having a great day so far. Today is November 27th, Friday, and on this post, I'm going to be talking to you about the overall crypto markets before diving into the charts for Yearn Finance, Wi-Fi, USD, and see if anything has changed since my yesterday's post. I'm going to be sharing with you my now bullish and bearish case scenario, as well as the short-term price prediction on this market, according to what I'm seeing on the charts. Before we begin today, if you guys are watching me on YouTube, do subscribe. If you guys are watching me on TradingView, do follow me as I'll be keeping you updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list, regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. If you guys do want to support me and don't really have a Weibo brokerage account, you guys can use my referral link down below. You're now giving away four free stocks now instead of three upon a successful sign up and a qualifying deposit. They will also receive a referral bonus if you guys sign up under me. Please do also read my full disclaimer below. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm purely sharing my own speculations and opinions on this market. I cannot tell you the future, and you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing in this market as it is extremely risky and volatile. If you guys have any questions or comments, please do only leave them in the comment section below. But I'll get to them a lot faster that way. But let me know what you guys are trading, following. I can see if I can share my analysis and opinions on those symbols. Now let's see what exactly is going on with the overall crypto markets first. Most importantly, I do like to take a look at Bitcoin dominance. This tells me where the money is flowing into or out of. Would it be Bitcoin, altcoins, or neither? Currently, we do have Bitcoin dominance kind of flat from yesterday, still above 63%. I do still see that the, the price action on Bitcoin dominance is still being supported by those three-day and weekly simple moving averages. If Bitcoin dominance does actually break down from those support levels and continue downwards, towards that uh, falling, broadening wedge that is most apparent on the weekly time frame, then I could expect better trading opportunities for altcoins. Now, let's see what exactly is going on with Bitcoin price action. Bitcoin price action, I have actually just done a post on it today. If you guys are interested in seeing it, I will go into more details in that post. Okay, but Bitcoin price action, I will be keeping an eye out on because if we get any more pullbacks, on Bitcoin that could drag a lot of the altcoins down with it as we have seen earlier this week. Now let's see what's going on in Wi-Fi USD. Since yesterday, since yesterday I have brought to attention that the price action is still within this falling wedge pattern. It has not changed. We are being supported by the daily 21 simple moving average, which is a very important support level. And I have explained why over and over again. So this falling wedge pattern, if it stays intact, is 68% chance of breaking upwards. You guys can verify that statistics, but if it does break upwards, the measure target would be about 34.4K uh, if it breaks upwards by tomorrow, okay, November 28th. And this price target may or may not be reached. It is only theory by taking the distance between the opening of the pattern and adding it to the expected breakout point. So obviously, if it actually breaks out, breaks out later, the measure target would be lower. Now, let's also take into consideration of the daily 21 simple moving average. It's very simple. I mean, it's very important that we actually stay above this 21 simple moving average because if price action does dip below it, that would take us either very close to the 0.382 fib level and still a close below the daily 21 simple moving average is still not good as a short-term trader i never like seeing support being broken past support is now resistance okay now that is the situation at hand right now one other thing i do also want to point out and i have been pointing out is that look out for the last rsi reading on the 12 hour and daily time frame because if we actually do get a breakout here and get a higher high on the price action chart do look out for possible bearish divergence if that does not create a higher high on the rsi charts okay that could signal a pullback not too long after the breakout if bearish divergence is there now let's explore the bullish and bearish case scenarios the bullish case scenario obviously for Price action to actually break out of this falling wedge pattern. But even after we break out, do be careful of two major resistance levels between the breakout and the measure target. 
okay? We do have this Fib level right here in that $25,000 range and that next Fib level here at about the 30K range, okay? So possible pullbacks can occur even after the breakout at those levels. Something to be mindful of. That is the bullish case scenario. The bearish case scenario will obviously for price action to break below that daily 21 simple moving average, possibly continue downwards that falling wedge pattern, which will get quite a bit of uh, lower price action. Okay, the next price point on the bottom trend line will at least be 18.2K. Okay, so if it continues down this falling wedge pattern, that is possible, 18.2K. Also, what is, what is also possible is that price action breaks below this bottom trend line. And in that case, I could expect price action to continue down further and more intensely. However, which one do I think is more likely? Well, even just based on the statistics of the falling wedge pattern, 68% chance of breaking upwards. I'm going to side with the bulls on this one, but very much acknowledging the downside and the flip side of that, okay? So this is my update for Yearn Finance and my today's bullish and bearish case scenarios. Let me know if you guys agree, disagree. I'd love to hear your feedback. I hope you guys manage your risk carefully. If you guys would like to see any more of my most recently uploaded videos on YouTube, you guys can check out my links up here on YouTube. I'll see you next time.